Final countdown here for the Wisconsin opener. We got three weeks to go, so of course getting the reps in every single night of the week. Got a new setup this year. I actually switched sights, switched rests, switched arrows, everything. So I'm running the Trophy Ridge React Trio. So I'm actually sighted in right now all the way out to 100 yards. And that's what I've been shooting here with the Bulldog target. But I've also switched over to the Black Eagle X Impact arrows, the micro diameter with the outserts and four fletch them with the new tech veins. And I gotta tell you, super quiet and they are bullets. So I'm gonna keep shooting here. I wanna keep going before the mosquitoes eat me alive. Welcome to another great season of the Homegrown Hunter. It's October 21st and we are finally in a stand here in Wisconsin. It's been a rough year. It's been a rough fall. Uh, we've had a huge drought, took out all the food plots. Um, we just haven't been able to grow anything so we're living on water troughs, scraped trees and cameras. So we've got some good pictures in this plot. Uh, with the new water drop that I put in about two months ago. The deer are just murdering this in the scrape tree. They're hitting pretty hard now. We had a good front push through earlier today, so we're hoping for some early movement tonight, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. So it's a little early, but hopefully tonight we can finally see a deer. Are you recording me? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I hope I don't fall out of the tree. Mm -hmm. It's your first time in a tree, so. But yeah, might be my last time in a tree too. <laughs> I think you'll be fine. So we switched properties tonight. This is the first set of course out here for the year. And uh, they just got done combining all the corn today. So got really high hopes. Um, seen some deer on the way in. So hopefully we can uh, get some inventory of what's going on around here since we don't have any, no cameras, no nothing. Um, so we're gonna just do it old school out here right now and use the eyes and ears and see what we can see so Abby's freaking out again because she's 20 feet up in a tree but she's harnessed in and still thinks she can fall out so this is fun it's gonna be a lot of laughing again tonight probably won't see anything because we're gonna be laughing too hard well I will be she won't be that's what I'm here for so stay tuned you're watching homegrown on our TV and uh, let's see what we can figure out tonight. looking for the next game changer when it comes to hunting, get yourself a water source. Look at the ground to see how much traffic has been around this water source that Mike fills weekly. 
It's fresh water, and deer much prefer fresh over stagnant. It's quick, inexpensive, and effective. Place it 20 yards in front of your bow stand, or 100 yards in front of your gun stand, and you will be amazed how often it's used. Homegrown Hunter TV is brought to you by Rackstacker, Canada's leader in big game attractants. Campbellford Chrysler, a small town dealer with a huge inventory. Huckabones Equipment, Ottawa Valley's Kubota dealer. Bishop Lake Outdoors, first place trailers. Kent Cartridge Canada, nature of design signs and graphics. Woodland Mills, and these other fine sponsors. Nobody's been up in here for the last couple of weeks, and of course we're getting into that seeking phase of the rut. So carried the decoy all the way in here and uh, got him set up right up here. And after the first rattling sequence, had a decent buck come through. We call him Little Brother. He's on the no hit list, um, so he got a pass, but. Came in right on a string, did everything we, I wanted him to. Had two more bucks that just cruised through. One was a four-year-old. Um, that one is named Big Red because um, of the red patch on his head, but he's a solid, solid 10, probably 150 class, but um, he didn't want to come in and play. He's on the no-hit list too, but then there's a little buck behind him, so it doesn't seem like they're scared of the decoy. It kind of seems like they're just still on their own agenda, which is fine, but the grunting and rattling is certainly bringing them to this field edge so I can actually see what's going on. Deer management may not be for everyone, we know that. However, if you're looking to grow larger deer for your area, you must get in the habit of passing younger bucks. Mike has two target bucks in mind, and he's willing to pass everything until he sees either one of them. Having more bucks means more daytime activity and a more enjoyable hunt overall. been about two hours since I actually had a deer on the plot that I could film instead of just cruising. Still waiting for that big daddy. We got a couple big boys that are living back in here and we've only been able to lay eyes on them once. Let's have a little fun here. This deer walks in front of you. First thing you think is, I'm going to shoot. And that's okay. But with no pressure, let's just look at some characteristics. He looks your way and antlers are outside the ears. Automatic three and a half year old buck. Let's look at some other things. He has a flat back and a racehorse like body, meaning he's mature. His tarsal glands are heavily stained and lip curling, indicating he is in full rut and looking for action. At the Rackstacker farm, this is a shooter buck, but it's not what Mike is looking for. Let's look at another buck. This buck is inside his ears, which spews two and a half years old. The thin neck and being high in the belly indicate he is not quite mature. Did you know one of the largest increases in a buck's growth is between two and a half and three and a half years old? So this buck gets a pass for one more year. How about this buck? He is all day long a yearling buck with his first set of antlers. Cocky, like a ninth grader in school with no cares or worries. Did you know, statistically, yearling bucks are known to be the most active breeders? Here is another look at that mature buck that Mike calls Little Brother. 
isn't he a handsome fellow? So our resident bully, little brother, just came in, worked a scrape, had a little guy that was down coming up to the decoy, and uh, when the little guy spooked off the decoy, he spooked off the field, but he's a beautiful buck, really, really would like to see what he can turn into in a couple of years, but this is kind of his home territory. There's a couple of big guys in here that we're hoping get on their feet. Things are a little slower this morning than they were yesterday. Not really responding to calls this morning, so... We're just going to hunker down here for a little while yet, little snowflakes in the air first of the season, and see uh, if we can get one of those big boys cruising through here. The Tacticam Reveal is the official trail camera of the Rackstacker Elite staff and the Homegrown Hunter TV because they're reliable. If you want to get into accessories, you can check out rackstacker.ca and get them right across Canada. Welcome back to the Homegrown Hunter. We've had a lot of bucks that have been moving through here and actually one of the bucks, our target buck was actually killed. He came out of here. Thing is, is we think we're missing a lot more than what we're actually getting on camera and what we're seeing. So this is the time of year. It's November 4th, so we're going in after. It's 12 o'clock right now and I am nestled probably not even 100 yards next to the thickest bedding that we have on this entire property. So what are your thoughts on this buck? Do you think he's mature? He has a flat back and a wide neck that carries down into his chest. Did you see his tarsal glands? They are barely stained, which means he's not even active in the rut yet and more focused on food. And yes, he is mature. Imagine seeing him eating in front of you like he didn't have a care in the world. There is absolutely no reason to rush a shot like this. Take your time. He'll give you a perfect broadside when the time is right. stand seems to be paying off getting a lot of inventory never knew that the deer were actually coming out of this one corner we thought they were coming out of the north of me but they're actually coming out of the south that buck there we named big red um, because he's got a big red patch but he's a young deer and uh, needs another year but he actually has his g4 busted off on the right side now so but he was just content eating acorns until the doe was about 200 yards away and he's seen her cutting through us and now he's chasing but that's uh, about the fourth or fifth buck now that I've seen and only the second one that's actually been chasing so they've been just kind of mealing through and eating acorns and just doing normal deer stuff not a whole lot of red activity so 
we'll see we got about 45 minutes left so we're in the power hour and uh, hopefully one of our target bucks show up but he's going to be a great buck in a year or two we'll love to see what he looks like next year so. closed captioning brought to you by woodland mill a canadian premier forestry products company You've got competition. Oof. Nobody can compete with this. Pretty confident. Always. What? Okay. okay. Certainly wouldn't be up in a tree for anybody else. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm really here. That red. Where? Where? Like in the screen, the white. Now, this week's Cut to the Chase segment, brought to you by Rackstack. It's November 24th. We just got back in the blind that we were in for youth season, and we're hoping that the deer start coming in earlier with the cold weathers that have been rolling through. Switch spots. 
like really slow and quiet. And then we opened the window and I, we, and after she turned to the right side, I shot her. It's right here. Okay, walk up behind her and poke her. Don't get in front of her, walk behind her. Kick her in the butt. Kick her hard. She's down. Good job, kiddo. Go! Okay. I had to wait until it got to my side so I could shoot it. And I did, and it was a good shot, and we found it, and it was it didn't run too far. You're watching Homegrown Hunter TV, and I'm Reese. For past episodes, be sure to check out hghtv.ca.